<laughs> so when do you need to make sure you have sunscreen on? When the sun's out. All the time. Anytime they're outside, as far as I know. Before you go out. And what is the recommended SPF? Uh, I use 30, but it's probably 60. And what SPF is recommended? I don't know. You tell me. There we go. Well, she is going to tell us. That's Dr. Jolene Huber talking to Canadians about sunscreen. There are a lot of myths about how and when to use it this morning. We're testing your sunscreen IQ with Dr. Jolene Huber, who joins us now. She's a pediatrician professor of medicine at the University of Toronto. And all right, so let's get right into it. First question, we're going to run down the options here. So when do people need to use sunscreen? And we'll look at the questions as they go up here. I'm in A, I'm in a car. B, I already have a tan. C, it is overcast. Or D, all of the above. When do I, doctor? So it's, it's D, all of the above. So the reality is that skin cancer is actually the most common type of cancer diagnosed in Canadians today, and melanoma, the most serious one, is on the rise. And so we really need to be careful about sun protection. A lot of people don't realize that even through the windows of our car, usually they'll protect us from the kind of UV rays, the UVB rays that burn us, but not the UVA rays that can also co contribute to skin cancer and skin damage and aging effects of our skin. We which is why so many truck drivers get skin cancer. Right, yeah. With the yeah. windows rolled up and all day long. Or, yeah, the windows rolled down too yeah. and our sunroof. So yeah. that you, somebody, somebody told me when I was out talking to people that they got a seatbelt burn from the window open and they had a tan wow. line from their seatbelt. Um, so, and there's also this myth that if you have a tan already, a base tan, you don't need sunscreen or that somehow protects you. But it's really just sun damage from the base tan to allow you to get more more sun damage so it's, it's not that a base tan will protect you and we can also still burn and, and get um, UV rays through the clouds so you always want to make sure as part of your daily routine in the morning when you're brushing your teeth that you put sunscreen on especially now that we're into the the sunny season yeah okay good all right question two then so what is the recommended SPF there's a lot of I mean it used to be like one of the people you interviewed said three or four and it used to be very low yes. and now we're bumped up so the choices are a 4, B, 15, C, 30, and then D, 60. Now, I think a lot of people go for the 60 because what the heck, right, if you want that kind of protection. They try to go for the maximum. Actually, the recommended is at least a 30 or more. And as you said, I grew up with sun tan lotion. Even mm. I was living in Los Angeles, we used to put on a 4 SPF, oh. a sun protection factor when I was little. But now you really want a 30 or above. Um, you're exactly correct. And there's different kinds of sunscreen. So when you're putting on sunscreen, you want to put on at least a shot glass full. It's a, an easy way to remember when you're covering your whole body. You want to put it on liberally. And don't forget to put it on your lips, of course. And then you can either use one that's called more of a chemical kind, an absorbing kind, and it, I can show you to, well, yeah. uh, this one will absorb more into the skin um, when you rub it in, whereas a, um, a barrier or a physical kind is the kind that just sort of sits on top of your skin and um, protects you, and, and that's a barrier kind. It doesn't have the chemicals that absorb. Right, and those of us who like water sports, like surfing, and this, there's, there's a stuff that sticks on a little better, isn't there? Yeah, and so that's a great point. You want to put it on at least every two hours, particularly when you're sweating and doing sports or you're in the water, and um, you want at least a 30 and look for a broad spectrum UVA and UVB coverage. Okay, we're getting a lot of good information here. So let's move on to question three. So what are the reasons not to wear sunscreen? We look at that. So under six months old, vitamin D exposure. So people saying, hey, I need my vitamin D, right, which can prevent cancers as well. Right. C, want to avoid chemicals in sunscreen. Okay, we all want to be good to ourselves in that regard. And already wearing makeup with SPF. So are any of those a valid reason not to wear sunscreen? So the only one is A, under six months of age. We don't okay. recommend using sunscreen until kids are six months of age or older. And um, so for little ones, you want to make sure that they have no sun exposure, keep them in the shade. All of us should be wearing the hats and, and protective clothing, of course. But the other ones are not good reasons not to wear sunscreen. So of course we want vitamin D and it's great for our bones and calcium, but we get that incidentally. We'll all be getting enough vitamin D already this week just being out in the sun and um, you know there's we're not you should be more concerned about the sun um, skin cancer than the, the chemicals in the sunscreen and so it's really um, and also 
health when it comes to makeup. We don't put makeup on our ears, the back of our neck, and it well, doesn't I, always... I do. I, yeah. I put it... Yeah, but... <laughs> and, <laughs> and not when we, I go outside. <laughs> right. But um, usually the, the SPF in makeup is not high enough. Um, it doesn't have that 30 or more that we recommend. Okay, question number four then. Which parts of the body are most at risk? And there's got to be people thinking, well, well, me, top of my head, you kindly pointed that out earlier, but so the tops of my feet, the scalp, the lips, and, or all over. I sense a trick question here, but there's the question for you. So it's all over. We want, you can get skin cancer anywhere on your head, your arms, your trunk, your legs. And so you really want to be careful about all areas. And it's always those tricky spots that we need to remember. So the tips of our ears, make sure we're getting on the nose, the back of our neck, our lips are places that we often forget, shoulders, backs of legs. I see lots of little kids with tan lines from flip flops on the tops of their feet. Right. We often forget the tops of our feet. So you, you want to think about putting it everywhere first thing in the morning all skin types no matter how dark or light your skin is we all are susceptible to damage from the sun and skin cancer yeah bob marley famously got skin cancer on the soles of his feet. Yes, so that's a one man of, of color and still was able to get skin cancer because of the soles of his feet. Right, so it's important to check everywhere and cover ourselves up. Okay, so stay covered. Stay covered with clothing, stay covered with screen 30 or above and cover your whole body. Right. I think I got it. You got it. All right. <laughs> Great. Dr. Julian Huber, thank you so much. It's good advice for the summertime.